Are you unhappy with your throttle response? Out of the hole, mid-range, top end? If there's room for improvement, I have the solution. <laughs> oh yeah. I'm Gail Banks. What happens when an engine guy, or even better, a turbo guy, does a throttle booster? The new pedal monster is the throttle booster with a brain. It's the most intelligent and safest throttle sensitivity controller available. Here's the reality. We spend most of our time coming off the line, merging with a trailer out back, maneuvering in traffic at part throttle, or working some cool stretch of mountain road. Till now, you've been the victim of some group at the factory and their predetermined pedal profile. Here's what's cool. Pedal Monster allows you to precisely select just where the power comes in and at what rate. And it's different for every situation and every car and truck. Today's cars and trucks are drive by wire. When you push down the pedal, it sends a signal to the computer to open the throttle. The problem with drive by wire is that manufacturers often build in what we call sponge pedal, looking for that last tenth of a percent of fuel economy. In doing so, they soften up the response and take away 50% of the fun. Pedal Monster gets rid of that lag. Feel the response? It's, yes. it's instant. Let me explain. First, you select the transmission type, stick or automatic. Then you choose your driving mode, city, sport, or track, each of which have 10 pedal profiles. Do you need more punch in the mid-range? Pedal Monster won't completely cure bogosis since you put the big turbo on, but Pedal Monster will definitely reduce bogosis. I've been working on my buddy's four-banger turbo Camaro. We put a bigger turbo on it, and you can't clutch it enough to really get it out of the hole the way you want. But with Pedal Monster, we're able to get it to respond much quicker. We've looked at the other guys. They just have crude straight lines. We've worked hundreds of hours making sure these pedal profiles are fluid and dynamic. Here's how it works. The pedal monster intercepts signals between the pedal and the vehicle's computer. Then it modifies those signals based on the mode and pedal profile you choose. You know there are quite a few throttle boosters on the market, and almost all of them have something in common. They're not safe. The biggest safety issue with modules like these is that if something goes wrong, you're instantly left with no pedal. It's like you took the pedal and threw it out the window. Well, hell, I guess we don't need this pedal. This is where Pedal Monster is different. It utilizes the same active safety health monitoring circuitry that we use in all our inline tuners. All pedal sensors send two or more signals to the vehicle's computer, one rising and one falling. This redundancy is done for safety. Pedal Monster is constantly looking at these signals. If it sees something out of spec, it returns the pedal to stock. Another fatal flaw with other throttle boosters is that they draw current to power the module by tapping into the pedal circuit itself. In many vehicles, like Mopar cars and trucks, for example, that 5-volt circuit doesn't have enough electrical current overhead to safely power any additional circuitry. On our 2015 Ram 67, the pedal circuit requires a minimum of 4.7 volts. So let's look at what happens to the pedal circuit voltage as you increase the amperage. Across the bottom, we're showing milliamps, thousands of an amp. Here, vertically, we're showing voltage. The red line is the operating voltage, the five volts on this circuit. The stock pedal uses most of what's available here. Here's where the wheels come off for a lot of the competitors. When you get to about 28 milliamps, the voltage starts dropping. Remember I said, you're using most of this just to run the stock pedal circuit. When you get out to about 28 milliamps current draw, notice the voltage starts dropping at that point. When you get to 36 milliamps, that's it. You're done, no pedal, you're on the side of the road. The pedal circuit is not designed to power more modules. Apparently, some of our competitors have a problem with this. <laughs> so we've got the check engine light on. The truck just said engine power reduced. 
What do we do to this thing, bro? What did, what did you do? I didn't do anything. Oh. <laughs> Maybe this pedal commander wasn't a good idea. We solved this by supplying this guy, an OBD cable powering Pedal Monster via 12 volts from the OBD port, where there's ample current capacity. Here's the setup. We're in our 2019 Ford 67. The guys have rigged up a pedal commander and a kill switch on the five volt sensor voltage circuit. So I'm gonna bring this thing out of the hole, hit the switch and see what happens. Does it fail safe? What does it do? Here we go. Get up to about 30, still accelerating. Hit the switch. Nothing. Engine's gone to idle. There's no pedal whatsoever. Hill descent fault. What the hell is hill descent fault? Service. What about service? See the manual? Oh my God. Oh, nothing. Nothing. Picture this. You pulled out. You're passing. You're on a two-lane road. You know you can make it. You, you've, you know the power. You know the room you've got. Here's this other guy coming the other way. And that happens? What do you do? This thing does not fail safe. It just flat fails. All right, we've changed to the Pebble Monster. Here it is right here. And the five volt power supply is on. We're going to accelerate the same way and I'm gonna kill the five volts. Now you might say, wait a minute, Banks, you said 12 volt power supply. Well, that's true. We don't get on the sensor circuit and kill it. We use 12 volts. So let's see what our watchdog circuit and our active safety is all about. Here we go. We're going to accelerate to about 30 and I'm going to kill it. And here's a guy who's thinking about pulling out in front of me. Kill it. Whoa, I've still got throttle. Still punches. All right, pedal monster off, on, off, on. Well, there you are. That's what active safety, that's what watchdog, and that's what failsafe is all about. Since we're on the OBD port and capable of communicating with the vehicle's computer, we added vehicle speed sensing, giving us adjustable low speed trim and on stick shifts, smoother clutch engagement. And selected gear sensing gives us reverse safety. These are important safety features no other throttle device has. This is called speed-based trim. So you can select kind of that, that response and the level of response under 10 miles an hour. So I don't want to have to disable the system every time I'm loading the back of the, the bed up or towing a trailer. I can select this, set it and forget it. Under 10 miles an hour, stock throttle response. And because Pedal Monster knows what gear you're in, it automatically returns to stock pedal sensitivity when you're in reverse. Reverse is not something you wanna get too spicy in. Modules like Pedal Commander have no clue what speed you're at or what gear you're in, so they're just as twitchy in reverse as they are in drive. When we started developing the Pedal Monster, we wanted to know what's out there. We always buy the competition and quantify what we have to beat. Let's start with all of these guys and whether or not they have multiple modes. Well, most of them do, including us, with the exception of KNN and JMS. The next thing to consider is multiple intensity levels. The first three do not, Jet, Amped, and BD Diesel. KNN has one mode, but a variety of levels, as does JMS, one mode and a variety of levels. The next is, does it have safe 12 volt OBD power. This is one of the big ones, in my opinion. You'll see that very few do. They're mostly sucking blood, so to speak, off that five volt sensor circuit, with the exception of Vatrix, Engine, and us. The Bluetooth mobile app speaks to convenience. You can run this thing off your phone, and it's incredibly easy to do. But yet, there's only three of us, Okay, the next one is made in the USA. This is a real big thing to me. And I am proud to say the manufacture of the circuit boards and the assembly and test take place less than three miles from where I'm standing right now. That's how made in the USA the Banks one is. On a lot of these, 
We tried to find out, were they made in the USA or not? So you got a lot of question marks here. We made inquiry, but couldn't get answers. None of their literature stated it. If you don't brag about your product being made in the USA, it's probably made somewhere else. The next feature, reverse safety. If you have quick throttle response, do you really want it in reverse? Probably not. We get down to, on this item, reverse safety, there's only one competitor engine that has anything like it, but to enable it, you have to tap in to the backup light circuit on your car. So we put here wire splice, gear sensing. This is how we know if you're in reverse. Oh wow, it knows I'm in reverse too. That's cool. Transmission select has to do with whether you have a stick or an automatic. If you've selected a very aggressive pedal profile on the pedal monster, clutching out of the hole can be an issue. The problem could be that you've got all this throttle response that the pedal monster is providing, and that responsiveness is making it hard to smoothly engage the clutch. Next, we have watchdog circuitry. What this has to do with is an internal diagnosis of the functioning of the pedal monster. If the watchdog circuitry finds something it doesn't like, it bypasses the pedal monster and puts you back to stock. We found one, the Hypertech, which claims to have something like watchdog circuitry. And we found that it trips a code, that that's all it does. And you go into limp home. Active safety is one you may have heard of because it's on all of our tuning devices. Here's what it does. If the device loses power, it bypasses itself. If the watchdog circuitry says, hey, there's something going on on the circuit board, it bypasses itself. OBD2 data I'm really proud of. It allows us to know everything that's going on in the vehicle, and yet we're the only people doing it. And OBD2 data allows us to adjust to driving conditions in real time. Adjustable low speed trim. It allows me to customize the launch. And for you guys running Derringers, Pedal Monster integrates with the Derringer tuners. And last but not least, iDash integration. On the iDash, you can set up the Pedal Monster. You can watch its performance against stock on an active, real-time bar graph. You can change modes. You can change pedal profiles. And I love the interface. So out of these 15 comparisons, we're the only ones with every single one. And that's no accident. Installing our mobile app control pedal monster takes just a few minutes and it's insanely easy to use. Looks like we're intercepting the pedal connection. No big deal. Easy. A two-year-old could do this. And when you combine it with an iDash data monster or iDash super gauge, you can control the pedal monster right from the gauge. And if you're wondering, will this affect my warranty? If that's a concern, when you remove the pedal monster, it doesn't leave a footprint. We've got them for cars. We've got them for trucks. We've got them for naturally aspirated, supercharged, and turbocharged. And it'll put a smile on your face. <laughs> I swear, it's so responsive now, I barely even touch it. If this sounds fun, hit us up at bankspower.com or reach out to one of our hundreds of installing dealers. <laughs> this is city? <laughs> What sport? Ha, 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 ha.